welcome back to my channel if you're new on my channel you're very much welcome my name is Anos and I'm so happy and pleased to meet you so do not forget to click on the subscribe button down here is a red button please click on it and also there's a notification bell icon just beside the subscribe button if you click on that you're gonna get my notifications straight to your phone whenever I upload a new video that's a VIP treatment so guys as you can see from the title today's topic is about something very personal something very private at least for me i'm kind of excited to talk about this because on a normal day this is not a topic that i would normally want to discuss but i guess i'm beginning to come out of my shell <laughs> so guys let's just get straight to the story hmm. so growing up i was this or should i say i'm still i'm not a girl anymore <laughs> anyone so i was this kind of girl or i was this young girl who knew what she wanted like i was so sure of what i wanted when it comes to um relationship wise i mean like growing up at that very early stage i knew that a boy and a girl can both be together if you know what i mean as young as i was i knew all of this information i knew there was more to just playing with an opposite sex but still i knew what i wanted i knew um how street or how disciplined or how reserved I want to be when it comes to issues like that or when it comes to boy and girl relationship but despite being disciplined about that I happen to be this kind of person who is more comfortable having a male friend than having a female friend so people usually see me around male friends like so you know that kind of mentality of <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of a thing because you are always seen around male folks but deep down in me i knew there was nothing i knew what i wanted i knew that in that aspect like i am very very disciplined and reserved so let's get straight to the topic of today my first menstrual period in my african Oh, like African parents home oh my god <laughs> guys let me just say quickly tell you that I started my first menstrual period when I was 12 years old and my parents knew nothing and even my siblings like in my whole house no one knew about me menstruating for a good two years like yes I kept it all to myself because I knew the kind of reaction I will get, I know they will just start coaching me about relationship all over again and I know like this information I already knew probably because they will imagine that these are the things I do not know so they'll start telling me everything all over again and you know I just like for two years I was menstruating, being careful about it mm, yeah I can say maybe I, I was not able to afford part mm -hmm. I couldn't afford pad but I was using tissues oh my god this is so private <laughs> I was using tissues washing clothes all over you know I was just doing all of those just because I didn't want my parents to know my siblings didn't know about it and on this very faithful day it happened let me tell you what happened guys this day i was going to school i think i was in my ss1 or ss2 i can't remember what class i was but that day i was already prepared for school and our uniform then was white african church grammar school that was my secondary school so we used to have this white gown that we wear so that day i was already ready for school i was going to school and then my sister spotted a blood behind my gown gosh i was so disappointed i felt so bad i felt like yes today now today like it don't happen oh my god guys you need to know how bad i felt and just as expected ha my parents though not not my parents my, my dad was not involved in this so it was my mom and my siblings like i have female siblings the male ones were already married at the time so come and see my mom hey well, you are not a dog girl, you are not a shake kitty call. Ah, to ba to ba feel a book run, she like to ba ba hand shake or kun last salty loin here, you know. I'm sorry if you don't understand it, but let me just quickly translate this. Like 
they were like, hmm. So now you have become a woman. Now you don't become mature. If you just mistakenly go shake one boy like that, you don't get believed with that. And just like I knew, but deep inside my mind, I knew all this information. I knew shaking a guy, shaking a boy will not get me pregnant. I knew what will make a guy, a girl pregnant as young as I was. And I knew I was not ready for things like that. I knew I was not going to do anything stupid until when I'll be ready for it. But like, these are the kind of information I do not want to hear. They will just be like, how to shake a girl, you know? Dad. And my siblings or my sister, they just started their own too. Hmm. Now you be doing shakara abi. Like any small thing, like any small mistake. Let's say my sister tells me to do something and I'm just doing shakara like, oh. She just say, ah, you, you are not straight in abi. Because we are not doing the same thing, they'll be doing shakara for me abi. I, I know a lot of people can relate to this. Like, oh my god. <laughs> These kind of things get me really insane. These are the things that I've been avoiding or I've been trying to avoid for two good years. Even when I'm being myself, even when I'm being my natural self, they will say it's because I've started menstruating. That is why I became disrespectful to them. That is why, I, because they feel like they're not doing what we've been doing. So now, you know, oh my God, it was not easy in the house. Like the house was fire, fire. And so that day, they all focused more on what would be the consequence of my waywardness if I decide or if I choose to be wayward right from that moment on. They all focus more on that, telling me what to do. Let's say, okay, now you need to get a pad, now you need to do this, now you need to do that. That came later, 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 later. In fact, let me say, they almost forgot. And the only thing that actually changes from that moment on was that. I could get money for pads now because now they know I'm doing it and they could start supporting me in that part. But apart from that, nothing else. Like I've been taking care of myself for a good two years and they all got to know when I was 14. And if they are watching this video, I'm sure they'll be all surprised because they all still believe that that moment that they discovered it was the first time. But sis, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was actually two years after. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is really funny, but as funny as this is, I really want us to like take lessons from this because it might be funny, but truly it shows the kind of relationship that we should have with our kids. Because I'm not saying I do not have a good relationship with my mom or with my siblings, but at the time, my mom was very, very straight. She became really, really soft, or should I say lenient. She became really, really calm with us when we started growing up. but. At that time, my mom was really, really straight, and that relationship was not so was not so good, so close. Like everything was fine with us, but I just could not discuss personal things with her, which I do not want with my kids now. Like I want my kids to be able to tell me everything. That's the kind of relationship I want to be with my kids. Like I want them to be free to tell me anything, anything that happens in school. If someone touches them, you know things like this. Because even at that time, if I had been abused sexually. I won't be able to tell my mom because that kind of relationship was not there because it was this all African African parents relationship that streetness of being an African parent that was how it was and to be honest being a street African parent has this negative impact on our kids so that's just a major lesson I would really love people to like take away from this because my parents got to know that I started menstruating two years after I actually started it so which is not something so good that i will be proud of if it happens to my kid so basically this is the story i want to share with you guys because each time i remember it i always laugh about it and also like take the lesson from it which i decided to share on here so that you guys can also take that lesson on it it's good to be a disciplined parent it's good to be very um disciplined with your parent but you need to create that closeness no matter how hungry i get with my kids no matter how mad i can get with them i still try to create that mother and son or mother and daughter section whereby we are so close we talk about anything yeah we have moments like that no matter how angry i get when they get naughty <laughs> so guys basically that is what i want to share with you guys i hope you enjoy watching my story please do not forget to share hmm. 
share let people learn from this and also when you share it helps me and also click the like button if you like the video and let me know what you think about this thing in the comment section below do you experience this kind of situation also in your african home and especially those sydneys that they will be like hmm because we are both using brand now you start disrespecting me in this house abby do you have siblings like that? I think it happens in all African homes. Like, oh my gosh, all these are our siblings here. Eh? But thank God, <laughs> we are all grown now. <laughs> and we now laugh about those things, honestly. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.